vlog. I wanted to share about some new beans that I got in today that were sent to me and I want to try dialing them in as well as kind of share what I ordered on Black Friday, have some things coming in today and just, I don't know, vlog. Actually later in the day, it's been quite a morning. Kids are finishing up their homeschool. I just finished with Eloise and I'm just about to wash my face. So I had my coffee in the morning though. I redid my lashes yesterday. I wanted like a fresh faced, your lashes but better mascara type look. So I whipped out these. These are from Eyelash X and they're super just like simple and natural. The fibers are really thick and bold. The lighting right now is like whatever, but I really like that one. Let me grab which ones because I forgot the name. So the brand is Eyelash X. Oh, it's their style Aspen. And this cartridge has sizes 10, 12, and 14. You can find this style from other brands, but you see how it looks like super natural and just kind of like your lashes, but better. Super bold, but still natural. So that's what I was going for yesterday and these definitely delivered. And then I also use purple shampoo and every time I use purple shampoo I feel like I have fresh hair just because it really brightens and gets rid of the yellows in some areas more than other. I've had blonde hair my entire life and out of all the purple shampoo or purple type products that I've tried, this one delivers the best brightening effects ever. It's the Olaplex number no. 4P Blonde Enhancer Toning Shampoo. If you leave it on too long, it will make your hair like your scalp purple. <laughs> that is how strong it is. It is so strong, it's almost like a toner. Is that strong. And I use it about once a month, and I feel like every once a month that I use it, I'm like, ooh, my hair is so nice and fresh. I just posted a vlog of our adventures to try an equestrian center. We saw the drone show, we went ice skating. It was super fun this weekend. I'm gonna go visit my sister with the kids, have like a girls weekend, I'm so excited for that. And I'm trying to plan like Christmas things. I booked a little resort trip for us further north. It's just like all the Christmas vibes. I'm ready for all the Christmas things. I also wanna do Vlogmas this year, which I've done it I think two years in the past. Last year I did not do it because we were in the camper. We were visiting my brother-in-law and his family in, in Missouri. And then right before Christmas, like the 23rd or something, we went to Branson and stayed there for about a month. And Branson is so much fun during the holidays. It's like a little Hallmark Christmas movie in Branson. If you've never gone, we reminisce about it. We just loved it so much. But I was like in a weird funk. I was very homesick and stuff like that. So I did not vlog at all. I actually didn't have a lot of videos, just a few like lash and hair stuff. But I was like in a weird funk of I'm like super homesick and I'm just going through a bunch of feelings. So yeah, we did not vlog. But this year I figured, you know what, let me get try vlogmas again. It's a lot of work because you're vlogging every single day and then you have to upload. It seems simple. Like the filming itself and the editing is not hard. But when you're doing it back to back to back to back every single day, it just gets to be a lot. So I might do like 12 days. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. But I just applied my scalp serum and I'm going to do my skincare. And I'm going to wait for the kids to finish homeschooling. And my hair looks crazy. So that I can pop in the kitchen and show you guys some new coffee beans and try them together. All right, I'm finishing up my makeup. And one of the things that I got on Black Friday was this Urban Decay Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade Bad Blood. And the reason why I got it is because I was watching an Instagram Reels. And this one girl said she was trying to find a dupe for a lipstick that Taylor Swift was wearing, which I'm not a Swifty. And I feel like just by saying that, people are like, oh, I'm nothing, like I'm just, I'm not gonna turn off the song that's on the radio, but I'm not like a hardcore Swifty, you know what I'm saying? But I really liked, sorry, that's my daughter, she's in the bathroom. I really liked the lipstick shade that she swatched. So I went on Amazon right away, typed it in. The lipstick I could not find, but I was able to get the lip pencil for like $12. And it is a beautiful, super deep, like almost blue red. And this one is like a nice, deep, really nice red. Like look at compared to my super bright red nails. This one, it definitely has more like purpley blue undertones. So this is one thing that I got. Okay, here are the lips outlined. And like I said, I wasn't able to get the lipstick, so I went on a hunt trying to find 
a lipstick that might be similar. So I thought that this one here, this is my first time trying the Vinyl Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink. And I have come to love this formula. Like I tried it, it was completely transfer proof for me. It stayed on really long time all day. But it's not the shade that I was hoping it would be. Like on the product page, I thought it would be more towards, it's still a beautiful shade and applied on top, it's gorgeous. But here's the vinyl color. You can see this one's definitely more purpley, like a mauvey purple, and this one's more red toned. So it's not like an exact match. And then I ordered a Maybelline ink crayon. These are one of my all-time favorite products. It comes with a sharpener. These are the Super Stay ink crayons, and they come in so many different shades. They're super creamy. I love the shade range, especially love the one Talk the Talk, but I saw one that I thought would be a perfect match. So the package came in the mail. I opened the package and there's like nothing in there. And I'm like, that's weird. Did it fall out? Did I miss it? Nope. It was it was just like not in there. So they refunded me and I ordered a new one, which should come in today. So I'll show you guys when that comes in. Maybe it'll be a match. We'll see. So unfortunately, this one was not a match. And then I have some other reds. I have the House Laboratories Lip Liner in shade Supermodel, which I don't think this is available anymore. But it's a beautiful red. So this is the Lip Liner Supermodel from House Laboratories. Then I also have the House Laboratories Glitter Lipstick. And I'm so sad that it's not sold anymore because it is stunning. I mean, look at that gorgeous shimmer. I think this is so fun for the holidays. It also has like a purpley type undertone blue purple undertone but it's shiny I'll show you guys what it looks like because it's so beautiful almost looks metallic but it's really comfortable soft on the lips the only thing is with lipsticks i feel like they transfer they're not as long lasting while i do my eyebrows i wanted to share what else i got on black friday which is dun dun dun, dun basically nothing <laughs> i actually unsubscribed from a ton of email lists because I was just getting so sick and tired of being bombarded with all the different sales and stuff all the way from before Black Friday up until Black Friday and then Cyber Monday I was like this is just too much if you need something I do think that Black Friday is a nice time to buy it or Cyber Monday but I also feel like the sales this year were kind of disappointing like they weren't Amazon has had three sales at this point they had their Prime Day and they had like a mid-year sale for whatever reason. And then they had their Black Friday and Cyber Monday, which was extended. Which is nice because you get time to shop. But it was like nothing special like what it used to be. They're basically just mid-year sales at this point. I think like Black Friday is not kind of what it used to be. I mean, some items you do get really good deals on, but I feel like it's still not the same. It's not what it used to be back in the day where people used to like line up for really good deals. Those days kind of seem to be gone maybe. I don't know. Which I guess is a nice thing because I feel like I was never really crazy about all the crazy hecticness that came with Black Friday. It was just too much. So this year I didn't really buy anything but I did take the opportunity to shop the sales to get all the Christmas presents that I needed. So I got my sister her Christmas present. It's going to come this weekend when I'm at her house. I'll show you guys what I got. I got my husband's Christmas presents, the kids. And I got myself a fun gift for myself. It is a coffee advent calendar. I was on Instagram and a ad came up for the Bean Box, which I've never heard of. I subscribe to Trade, so drinktrade.com. They source different roasters throughout the United States and it's like a coffee subscription service and they send you based on your profile and all this stuff, different coffee beans every however many so weeks that you decide. I chose like every two weeks and I've been really liking it, but then I saw the Bean Box and I saw that they had an advent calendar. I know Onyx has an advent calendar, but that junk was so expensive. It was like, I don't know, a couple hundred bucks. And I was like, mm -hmm, no. So this one was only $85 and I found 20% coupon. And it came out to like $68 or something. So I ordered it and it should come in in a couple days. So I'm really excited to drink that throughout the holidays. It's like 12 days. Although I do think the Onyx one might have been 24. So I guess that kind of makes sense. This one was only 12. So probably the same. Now that I think about it. So I'm really excited for that. Mm, I have like lipstick all over my teeth now. But while we are on theme with talking about coffee, let's finally get to those beans that I wanted to share about. I've never tried them before. I've never tried this brand. It is from a partner middleman situation. It's not a marketing company. It's like the middleman that connects you with different brands. They reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try these beans. I have no obligation to post, but if I do like it, I can share about it. So we're gonna try them out. 
and we'll see. We're gonna try to dial them in as well. I'm trying to grab a quick snack, drink some water, and I will tell you, lipstick, red lipstick, is not for me. I feel like it literally just gets everywhere. But the vinyl one, I would recommend. Chai Chai, you want some food? She always like follows me around when she's hungry. She knows exactly. Chai Chai? Right here. These pineapple bottles smell like cat urine. <laughs> I know it's not just me. They're so good, but they, yep. Oh my gosh, every time I walk by them, I feel like the cat peed somewhere. Here you go, Chai Chai. I thought about doing a dedicated video for this because not everybody is into coffee or like the setup that I have. I was gonna get the Barista Touch or I was looking into like the Breville Bambino Plus. But I just decided on this option here because I wanted to get really into like espresso and dialing in. I read that a great startup setup is the Gaggia Classic Evo Pro. This one here and then just invest in a grinder a lot of people recommend investing in a grinder and then later down the line if i wanted to upgrade i could upgrade to a better espresso machine like a more expensive one but for now that's what i have i also want to show you guys some cool accessories that i got most of them are from amazon and then just like my whole holiday coffee corner here and again this is a vlog style so it's like super casual because i feel like it's just easier it's easier easier to vlog and i have like it's loud it's always loud it's just easier. I got this at Walmart. They had a gingerbread house one and I think a Santa Claus one. It's actually a cookie jar, but I decided to store extra beans in here. I think it's like the cutest little jar for the holidays. This knock box I got on Amazon. This I actually got on Timu, but they do sell it on Amazon. You basically dose out how many coffee beans you're going to be using. And it just makes it easier because I don't have to weigh them out every single time. They're empty right now because I'm going to be grinding some new coffee beans and then everything that you see here i got on amazon and then i have my cute coffee cups that i took out i've been loving pour over lately i've had this pour over for probably three years at this point and i think target still sells it it's from hearth hand and magnolia from target it has copper accents it's very simple very basic with this glass pour over situation here and then i just get filters on amazon these guys right here and I've just been really loving pour overs lately. I would use like my super cheap spice grinder to grind fresh coffee beans. I don't know, I just got like a random one on Amazon. Because you want the coffee beans to be ground to a semi coarse, not too fine for pour over. And I don't wanna use my Eureka because I feel like I'd have to dial it in every time for pour over and then for espresso and it's like a whole thing. So I just use that. And then I have my coffee cups, which are also from Hearth Hand and Magnolia. This I got on Amazon. It's a wooden bottomless portafilter. The stock one is hanging there on the side. I got like a little hanger on Amazon. This I got on Amazon. Handleless jug, and I just really love it. And then these I got on H&M Home, and I absolutely love them. They're the perfect size. They come with little saucers. I got six of them because I love them so much. I hung a little wreath here from the dollar store. Those are from the dollar store or Walmart. I can't remember. I just made it. All nice and festive and Christmassy. And then, oh, it's my kid's timer. And then the latest thing that I bought on Black Friday is this right here. So the Eureka Specialita Grinder comes with a plastic hopper that looks like a square. It goes on top. And I'm somebody that has been single dosing my espresso every single time. I don't pour a bunch of beans in there because it's just easier for me to single dose them while I'm learning and all of that. So I decided to get a single dose hopper on Amazon and this one fits really well. I like that I can see the beans. The only thing is that when you pour them in here, this is a popcorn stopper so it stops the beans from popcorning out. But when you pour them in here, you just gotta make sure that there's like no beans stuck in here and you kinda gotta move them on their way down. And then it has this little Hermoshka situation here, which helps with any retention. So that's another reason why I wanted to get it because you'd be surprised how many grinds come out when it's done grinding. I just give it a few pumps. And even like now you can see a little bit of grinds coming out. Like I get at least maybe like half a gram to a gram or something. And I got it on Black Friday for like $35. So I was like, yes, please. Cause I think originally it was like 45 or 50. So I thought it was a perfect time to buy it. So that was like my latest black friday purchase so things like that i do like that you know it's worth it shopping the black friday sales so that's my little 
coffee setup situation. And then these are the beans that we are going to attempt to try to dial in today. The brand is called Grindhead Coffee. Actually have quite an assortment of beans. I think they have blends and single origin as well. And then also flavored. Although I wouldn't use flavored beans. I heard horror stories for flavored beans and uh, like really expensive grinders or any standalone grinders and things like that. I'd probably use the flavored beans with my spice grinder that I have there for like the cheap one that I got on Amazon if you want like flavored coffee. But I picked out this one here so I was able to choose which one I wanted and I believe they grind it fresh to order. Fair price in my opinion compared to a bunch of other prices out there and it smells delicious and this is the espresso verdi and it just sounded like something that i would love so they're gonna give this a try in today's video I'm looking at their website right now and i do have a 10 percent off like referral link you guys can use to get 10 percent off so when you go on their website go down to the bottom or on their menu and click store and that's going to lead you to their store the whole st store and brand has like a pirate type vibe going every single description is like um, theme with that so they have like almond coffee some of these sound so good like birthday cake amaretto blackberry cobbler blueberry cream butterscotch i think they have like a holiday one. Ugh, some of them sound so good but i specifically chose this one because i want to use it for espresso for my espresso i don't want any flavors i want like a nice bold dark roast huh deliciousness okay these are definitely dark these are definitely the darkest beans i have tried to date in my coffee setup they have a little bit of oils on them and they're just definitely really dark. So for comparison, I have a few beans left over of a previous blend and these I would say are more medium. And you can just see side by side, these are more brown, these are like black brown and these have oils on them where these are more dry. Which I'm interested to see how these are going to taste because I wanted like a super rich, bold espresso like italian espresso taste like that's what i'm looking for so hopefully this delivers i'm gonna start off with 18 grams and i'm gonna keep my dose the same i usually always stick to 18 grams and i completely forgot to turn on my espresso machine so it takes a little bit of time to warm up and i have a smart plug going on there completely forgot usually i like to give it like an hour we're gonna give it at least like 15 minutes so while that warms up let me clamp this back up so that goodness doesn't escape to so open a bag of beans ideally you want to store them in an airtight container which i usually do but this is just for now so don't don't come after me while we wait for that to warm up my son brought some amazon packages that came in so maybe this is like the lipsticks and stuff that i ordered let's see this is their christmas present some of their christmas presents so my kids are obsessed with schleich right now which is a horse brand it's like the lego of horse toys and they are just all obsessed mainly my daughter she's the main one and then she got the other two in them into it i even got some advent calendars from schleich they each got their own so that's just remaining they had like another black friday sale so i got them something from the grandparents you know how grandparents they don't live here around here so they'll like give us money and say buy something for the kids i don't know if anybody else's grandparents do that because they don't live here they still want to buy the presents and stuff so and then this one's kind of open okay what's up chai oh so this is just like cleaning supplies okay my lipstick is still not here but i did get some cleaning supplies so this is my all-time favorite cleaner I mentioned this in my cleaning video. I did also buy a new diffuser on Black Friday because a lot of them were on sale and I have been meaning to buy one for like half a year now because ever since we got back in the RV, something is up with our diffuser and it's not working. I tried cleaning it, everything, pouring out new water, using cold water, using warm water, like making sure nothing's clogged and for whatever reason, it's not coming out. Like it will um, bubble and stuff on the inside but it doesn't come out of the spout. So I don't know, something's wrong with it. So I got a new one and this one looked really cool because it's a flame aroma diffuser and we're going to give it a try. I'm going to turn it on and just show you guys. On the inside it's like bubbling and doing all the things and then when I put the lid on it doesn't come out of the little spout. When I go like this it does so I don't know what the heck is going on like I tried so many different things. And I just gave up. So I've had this one actually sent to me a while back, probably like four years ago when I first started YouTube. 
my favorite favorite brand to buy blends from or essential oils is revive they're super affordable i bought for their website but now i saw that they have them on amazon so i picked this one up it's citrus delight and i wanted to add it to balsam fur this is from the brand now they have essential oils and just a bunch of chai and then i have no idea where this is from i just have it so we're gonna use it to kind of get like a christmasy balsam peppermint citrusy scent going on smells really good with all the combination of scents that I did and hopefully this one lasts a really really long time although let's be honest nothing lasts forever but I had that one for like three four years so I'd say that's pretty good and hopefully this one lasts really long as well the only thing with this one I don't like is that it doesn't have like a timer it will shut off automatically when the water runs out whereas my other one it had you can choose and this one is just kind of like low medium or high and that's it but it looks cool now back to the coffee. I keep the dose at 18 grams and just tweak grind size and stuff like that. And then when I'm fine tuning, then I might change other things. But 18 grams is my go-to. And my grinder is set to the previous beans that I have here. So I'm thinking that's gonna be a little bit too fine. So I'm just gonna move it up a few notches, just a bit. And then I'll kind of fine tune it from there. So you see how the beans get stuck in here? You could take out this little popcorn stopper, but whatever, I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, did you guys see that? I would say that was like at least a gram, at least. Maybe. Even though this one claims it doesn't really have any retention, I feel like all of them kind of do. I do want to get a new tamping tool though because this one does not reach all the way to the edge. And that kind of bothers me and I want to get one with a leveler, but it's not something that I'm in a rush to get. Alright, and let's pull this shot and see what happens. All right, I stopped it and the last drip is at 34 grams. And this was actually a pretty long shot. It's telling me 38 seconds, so I might make it a little bit finer, but let me actually first try it and then we'll judge. Oh, this looks so luscious and delicious. It's like liquid gold, literally. Oh my gosh. I've never tried an espresso like this yet. That it's a little bitter. Oh, the after after like five seconds, I can taste the bitterness on my tongue. So I'm gonna fine tune it a little bit, like the grind size. But initially, I feel like if I went to Italy, this is what a cappuccino would taste like, like an espresso cappuccino. I cannot wait, I cannot wait to add milk to this. Like I'm not even gonna make a second shot because I'm just gonna keep it at this and fine tune the settings tomorrow. I kind of go from there, but I'm pretty happy with the grind settings. I just gotta tweak it a little bit. But the flavor, I think it's worth a try. If you love, but then again, you got like coffee connoisseurs out there that might try this and think like, mm, not for me. But if you love a dark roast, I think you will like this. It's rich, it's good. Okay, I'm about to like drink all of this and I usually don't drink espresso. Let me add some milk to it. Now for the fun part. Sometimes my last hair comes out amazing. Sometimes it sucks. So we'll see what we have in store for today. And I prefer my milk to be thicker. I've just always been that person. I don't like it when it's too thin. I feel like I don't enjoy my cappuccinos as much. So this one, she is thick for sure. Like you can tell, she's a thicker milk. And the latte art is all over the place, but it's kind of cute. A little over the place, but it's kind of cute. Let's give her a try. drink this in the morning you guys I'm already looking forward to tomorrow's cappuccino I'll leave my 10% coupon down below if you feel like watching this video you would like something like this I highly recommend trying it out like try one bag even if you don't have the same setup as me if you have like a Breville Breville touch whatever it will work just fine and if you do try it let me know what you guys think because everybody likes something different like I'm usually not big on lighter roasts 
for cappuccinos, my milk drink. So when it comes to pour overs, I do think lighter roasts and things like that are really cool and you get to try all the flavors. Sometimes I'll like a light medium roast, medium roast, but I veer towards darker roast for like that nice Italian style cappuccino. And I feel like this one hit the spot and I'm so glad I got to try it. So I'll leave my referral link down below. My husband's sitting outside. I'm going to give this to him, lipstick and all. I think he's going to love this. He didn't like it. He's not big on foamy coffee drinks, period. He just likes his coffee. This is what he drinks, let me show you. This will explain everything. This. This, <laughs> all right? So I guess that's self-explanatory. So he does not love cappuccinos and things like that. I do. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. What's up, you guys? It is the following day, and I wanted to share some thoughts on the espresso now that I feel like I kind of dialed it in. So what I did is I kept the 18 grams the same, the dose the same. I always try to keep it the same when I'm dialing in. I made it a little bit coarser, just a smidge, and then I lowered the yield. So instead of like a one to two, 18 grams in, 36 out, I did 18 grams in and about 20 grams out. So almost like a ristretto, which is kind of like a super strong shot. Usually the bitter notes come out towards the end. So the longer you pull a shot, the more bitter it's going to be. And the more acidic notes are usually towards the beginning. So I feel like for this, the one to one ratio or like one to one and a half is perfect for this roast right here at least for my liking everybody's different so somebody might try it and be like mm, yeah that is not for me i think it's really tricky trying to suggest coffee beans but keep in mind this is a dark roast i tried it on its own without milk and i wasn't crazy about it the second time around when i did a one to one ratio it was it was very unique and different like it was smooth and bold it was very bold for sure um but it was different like i'm just so used to medium roast at this point i guess i haven't tried a dark roast in a really long time and this is dark like really dark my husband didn't like it it's not his thing he doesn't like cappuccino drinks in general he doesn't really like super strong drinks i do i love stronger drinks so with milk when i added in the milk i thought it was really really good but at the end of the day everybody you know likes something different so if you don't like dark roasts in general then you might not like it but if you do love a bold in your face dark roast i don't think this one's bitter it's not like starbucks bitter but it's definitely bold i think it's worth a try and if you don't like dark they do have tons of other options as well and you can use the 10 percent coupon link down in the description box try it out let me know what you guys think and for the lipstick the lipstick finally did come in so what I have on my lips right now is the Bad Blood Liner. I outlined in Bad Blood and then filled it in with the Superstay Ink Crayon in Own Your Empire. It's not the same shade. Own Your Empire is very like Christmas bright red. Not like neon red like my nails. Let me actually swatch it to show you guys the difference. But it's a perfect, in my opinion, Christmas red. Like if you're looking for a good Christmas red and it's very affordable. These are like under $10. Actually, you know what? Compared to my nails, it's very similar. Just like a, maybe a shade darker but it's like a true really beautiful christmas red and this is a vinyl liquid lipstick from maybelline i was doing swatches earlier and that junk is like super long lasting and then compared to bad blood bad blood bad blood is more of a deep blue purple you can tell it has more of like a purpley bluish undertone so depending on what you're looking for but could these two combine together which is what I have in my lips right now, I think is like the perfect, gorgeous Christmas combo. So if you're looking for a great Christmas option, check these out or check this one out. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out. I'm gonna finish the video here and then try to edit it and get it up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in future videos. Bye.